Alex, I, I, the, the, the riot control police officer uh, who is in charge of community affairs here in the Harlem area, I know him. We've had uh, to interact with him on several issues regarding our school, not that there's violence, but community meetings uh, to help make the community safer. So he's involved in reaching out to pastors and clergy with them. So I know him well. Uh, when he came in, to when they all came in, when I heard that the over, when Homeland Security was downstairs, I immediately thought I was going to be arrested. And, you know, I had I was cornered. The, the only thing I had for a defense was to, to look them in the eye to see what I could instantly read even before they spoke to me. The, the, the Homeland Security leader, spokesperson, came in first through the door first, followed by the second Homeland Security person who identified themselves as CIA agents. I'm still concerned about that. Then after Oh, I'm sure they were. They did that to terrorize you. Yeah, why, I, I would think that that would be a foreign concern. But anyway, It's illegal. Then, it's illegal, but they still do it. Yeah. The, Governor the, the, Jesse Ventura, two weeks into office, was told there's people waiting for you in the basement. 25 CIA agents wouldn't even tell him his name. They were just there bossing him around. It was intimidating. I mean, when they said CIA, I mean, you, you, I, I, that'll be the last thing. I, FBI, okay, I can handle that. It was intimidating. It, 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 it shook me for just a moment. The two detectives that walked in, I tried to look them in the eye. They looked down. They looked to everywhere except they would not look at me. And I'm thinking to myself, how can these men come to this church after they watch me all these years, they know my track record in this community, with such riotous ideas, flanking this church, preparing, and maybe they thought they could provoke me into something and start a fight. I mean, have several employees here, have several people, you know, just milling, just in the building as it's a church, you know, and we're active every day, 24-7. Maybe they thought they could provoke a riot or something. I don't know what they were thinking, but I can tell you this. I know they're coming back. I know that they are, even though they, they it, it may be some time. They will be back. Well, sir, we have contacts in the White House that we've spoken to, and I've talked to other members of the press who also have contacts. They do watch your videos. They do analyze this show every day. Uh, across the board, the power elite are paying attention to what many of us are doing. We've got a few minutes till we go to break. Would you like to uh, directly address the CIA, the Secret Service, the American Commissars, and the man uh, who goes by the name Barack H. Obama, Barry Sitaro? Would you like to address them? Yes, and he has yet another name, the Long-Legged Mac Daddy, which is an official name for him. Uh, having the privilege to do so, I would want to say this. First of all, I am an American patriot. I love this nation with all of the strength and love that I can possibly muster. And I will stand in defense of this nation and its great constitution. It is the greatest nation on the planet, and there's never been one like it, except for maybe the nation of Israel. Having said that, I earnestly and sincerely at the point of life and death believe that Barack Hussein Obama is ineligible to serve this great republic that he has stolen from all of us, our heritage, and is on track to destroying our Constitution. He does not have a birth certificate, and the Constitution is not his. What he wants to do is to destroy our Constitution and our birthright to this nation. I will not relent. I'm prepared to go to jail if that is what it takes to demonstrate my commitment and to awaken the American people. Come, put me in chains. I'm prepared to do that. But I am not prepared to live in this nation knowing in my heart that this nation has been robbed by Barry Satoru, Barack Hussein Obama, the long-legged Mac Daddy. So I say to all of those who are considering my actions and possibilities of my actions, I will not relent. This brutal visit by the Homeland Security coming and polluting our sanctuary in church has only made me fight more tenaciously. You have not seen me fight as of prior to your coming. I will not relent. Obama will be overthrown. He will be overthrown. Even if I am assassinated, he will be overthrown and exposed for what he is.
And by overthrown, you're, you're, you're talking about impeachment? I'm talking about court-martial, trial, treason, and the appropriate judgment of, 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 of found guilty of treason. Well, that is, um, I tell you, you have a lot of courage, Pastor Manning, a lot of courage, because uh, because certainly they are listening to every word you are saying right now, and uh, you just are have a lot of courage. It's really, I'm speechless here today, the power of what Pastor Manning is saying. We'll be right back with the final five minutes uh, with our guests on the other side right here on the GCN Radio Network. We'll also give you his ministry's website on the other side of the break. Atla.org, A-T-L-A-H.org, A-T-L-A-H.org is Pastor James David Manning's ministry website. We appreciate him coming on the show. Uh, again, I'm rarely truly speechless, but just the, the, the power and the commitment that I heard in your voice when you said he will be, he will be defeated, he will be removed from office. Uh, I tell you, you are certainly standing up like George against the dragon. Well, I, I have no choice in this matter. Um, I, I suppose that the commitment to, in my voice is also my love for this nation and my being a soldier of the truth. Uh, and it's great reward. More specifically, this nation is, is worth standing up for. There's just no question about it. It's worth every ounce of strength anybody gives to it. Well, they may not arrest you because you pointed out that it will only give you more attention and the birth certificate uh, more attention. And people will ask, well, Pastor Manning didn't call for violence. He said that if Obama's committed treason, he should get in trouble for it. I mean, I don't know if I agree that, that uh, you know, the penalty should, but I guess the penalty for treason is, is is very very serious, but I, I, there's so many other powerful people behind Obama. I would like to see them all brought to justice through the courts and and and, and see what the courts decide. Uh, but uh, you know, where well, do you see this going? If, I think that if Americans, th this entire process is going to put a, shed a lot of light on the Federal Reserve System as well. The present economic status of our nation. Um, there's never been anyone that has had as many of the, I suppose, supporters or goons from the Federal Reserve and the powers that be than Obama in terms of, of in his cabinet me membership. Uh, I believe, I'm confident as well, that when he tumbles, that it will cause light to be shown. A crack will be then seen into all of what you have discussed with respect to the Illuminati's, the Bilderbergs, Rothschild, all of that crowd can then be seen. See, what has happened today, no one has taken out the plug, which is what people like Obama are. But once he is removed, light will flood in and America will be able to see. Well, he is definitely their man. I mean, giving him a Nobel Prize for peace when he's expanding the wars, the way they worship him, they certainly do want to turn him into a god, and now Al Gore says his uh, global warming movement is a religion. Uh, these people really are devilish. No, there's, there's no doubt about that. But the thing we, I think that we definitely will keep focused on uh, is we've not had anyone as vulnerable at present. There's never, there's never been anyone as elevated at him, as him. And his fall, again, will expose all of them. They have given, I mean, the America, the American people to allow him to accept that Nobel Prize for peace is just unthinkable that there are people that are not up in outrage at the absurdity of the entire matter. I mean, Americans ought to be standing and saying, no, well, we don't want this fraud, any more fraud perpetrate, perpetrated on us through this man. Well, Pastor, unfortunately, we're out of time, but uh, hopefully you won't be arrested by next week. I'd like to get you up sometime in the next few weeks for a full hour to really go through your beliefs and the important views you have for us. 
and also as a black American, a patriotic American, the way Obama's people have been invoking race and actually creating racial division. Do you agree he's been doing that? Oh, no doubt about that. He's been using it uh, most proficiently. I'd love to discuss that with you. You'll call me back, and I'd love to be able to have the time to spend an hour with you, Alex. You're a great American, and God bless you for all the work that you've done. You've educated all of us, and we thank you for that. I thank you, Pastor, and you're in our prayers. You're definitely in the lion's den. Go with God, my friend.